A lot of people are talking about this morning, the pulse oximeter. The question is, can this device detect early signs of the coronavirus, even if you're not in the hospital, if you're operating it yourself? ABC's Ariel Reshef has been looking into that. Ariel, good morning to you. Hey, good morning to you, Dan. A pulse ox, you clip it to your finger, it measures your blood oxygen level, and you can buy it at a store or online for about $30 and up. Some are touting this as a way to diagnose COVID-19, but doctors warn, not so fast. This morning, questions about whether this small medical device you can buy on Amazon or pick up in a pharmacy could be useful in detecting COVID-19. A handheld pulse oximeter, or pulse ox, measures the oxygen level in your blood with a mere clip to the finger. Most people who are walking around who are very healthy have their number in the high 90s, 97, 98, 99%, and we consider that to be, you know, a normal number. Breathing difficulty and other respiratory issues, some of the most severe symptoms of the virus, lowering oxygen levels in the blood to dangerous levels. You might not initially feel that you have a low oxygen level, but eventually your breathing rate will go up or your body's heart rate will go up or some other signals may start to happen to alert you that you're not getting enough oxygen or your carbon dioxide levels may rise. In some cases, doctors may recommend suspected COVID-19 patients use a pulse ox as a way to monitor themselves and are instructed to call their physician if it drops below a certain level. Now, an increasing number of consumers are turning to this portable device during the pandemic. It's peace of mind. It's very much peace of mind to have it on hand, just like a thermometer. But doctors caution, a pulse ox is not a proven screening tool for COVID-19. The at-home versions may not be so accurate or as accurate as we'd like them to be. And even if they were, it's probably not a great screening tool. And doctors say there are many reasons why your blood oxygen level may drop. It doesn't necessarily mean you have COVID-19. They are looking at many factors when they are diagnosing the virus. So, guys, why this, while this device may provide some good data to provide to your doctor, it's not a foolproof method to diagnose COVID-19. Guys. All important to consider. All right, Ariel Reshef, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.